Hello and uh, welcome one and all. Today we will build on the data lake setup. A data lake is a popular way to store and analyze data that comes from various sources. We can store the data as is, there is no need to convert it to a predefined schema. To discover the structure and form of our data, we use a catalog service. This reduces the time and effort that it takes to derive insights from the data stored in the data lake. Previously, we covered data lakes set up with tools like MinIO, Hive Metastore, and Trino Query Engine, and Nessie and Dremio. Hive Metastore and Nessie Catalog are essential, yet they can be complex to configure. I would recommend these catalogs if you are dealing with large-scale data. Today, we look at a Python-based implementation of a data lake set up without these catalogs. This simplifies the setup and tools and is adequate for a small setup. We use PyIceberg, a Python-based iceberg library, for accessing iceberg tables without the need of a JVM. For catalog, we have various options we can choose from. To keep the setup simple and Python-based, we are using the PyArrow, the Python API for Apache Arrow. For catalog, we use the SQL catalog to interact with the object store. This stores information in the Postgres database. We'll also configure the catalog to store data files in the local S3. This setup is intended for a small to medium-sized data lake. Anyways, let's open our notebooks and start with the setup. We need PyIceberg and PyArrow libraries installed in our environment. We import the required libraries at the top. In the next cell, we define the catalog schema and the table name, as well as the S3 access and secret keys and the location. We are using min.io as the S3 compatible storage. This is running in a Docker container. This was set up in the previous data lake video. We create the SQL catalog. Here we provide the Postgres database connection string, our S3 location in point and credentials. In addition, we specify that we want to use PyArrow as the underlying file implementation for reading and writing iceberg table data. This takes care of the catalog and iceberg table interaction. Now we can extract and load data in the iceberg tables using this catalog. Let's read a Parquet file into a data frame. We use pandas for this. We can perform various data operations or data cleansing using pandas. We also have the option to read data directly in a PyArrow table. Anyways, we convert the pandas data frame into a PyArrow table. We can preview it to see the schema and data. Let's create the schema in the Iceberg SQL catalog. Now we create a table in the catalog. It requires schema, table, and the S3 location. We wrap this in a try and accept block to handle the table already there. Once created, we load the table in a local variable called table. This code creates the empty table. Now we call the append method on it to persist the data in it. We can check the table schema to make sure the appropriate data type is assigned to the columns. We can preview the data in the table using the scan method. We can use expressions to filter the table. It offers an equal operator to filter on a single condition. We can use the less than operator to filter rows, as well as less than and greater than operators together to filter a range. We can use the filter and and clause to apply multiple conditions in a filter. We can update the data in the table. We query the row we want to update. Next, we determine the index of the column. Using the index, we get the field. Now using the index and the field, we update the field's value. We overwrite the table with the same filter. We preview the data and see the updated value. Let's see the schema evolution in action. We evolve the schema of the table with the new column net sales. Now we write the new data frame to the iceberg table. This should persist the new column to the iceberg table. Let's query it to see the updates to our table and the new net sales column is there. This is how we can configure an iceberg catalog without the JVM tools. 
We use Python to configure a SQL catalog and interact with ICE tables using Python. The catalog is configured to use the S3. We can explore the S3 bucket and see how Iceberg saved data and metadata files from the above operations. If you are a SQL user and want to perform data operations using SQL, then you can use DuckDB to query the pandas data frame. Perform all of your operations and convert it to PyArrow and persist that to the Iceberg catalog. Also, you can load the Iceberg tables to a data frame and analyze the data using SQL or Python. This is all on Python-based data lake for now. I hope you enjoyed the session. Like, share, and subscribe. Take care, and I'll see you in the next video.